Welcome to my channel. This is me refurbing my track bike ZX9R6 pot calipers. Notorious for corrosion. I have rebuilt these um, um, as, I'm, as I'm going to mention in the video that I'm about to start. Uh, I have rebuilt these six months ago or so um, and I've been rebuilding my bike over the last sort of three months, done all the spray myself, done everything myself actually. There's not nothing I haven't done. Um, and this is a before and after. Look a bit better. I'm going to do this next, I think, get it all matching and spray that the same colour as well, just a slightly different colour. So, uh, yeah, so from that to that, enjoy. I decided to uh, spray my rebuild the calipers and spray them. So, this is the, uh, the struck down. I haven't took the seals out yet because I'm just going to show you how easy they are to get out. Uh, to get the piston out, they're really easy on the back ones. You don't need to pull them, just take your hose off the back. Put in the vise. And simply just tighten it up, put a bolt on the inside, just up against the piston. And then just tighten the vise and she just flies out. It's your piston. Give it a good clean. <coughs> um, I've already done the front rebuild, uh, but just a film on. And since I sprayed the bike and discs and the frame, it just looks your eye just goes straight to that caliper and looks really tired and old. Uh, I know they're not the best calipers, but I've got a set of brand new race uh, pads um, for this particular caliper so it seems a waste um, I put new seals in and uh, cleaned up the pistons and they're working fine you just got to keep you just got to keep on top of them and um, if you have out on track and it's raining um, just strip them down maybe a little bit just just take them off and dry them up and uh, put a little bit of W40 on the piston not the brake not the pads obviously um but yeah she's uh she's almost she, well she's ready but i'm just i'm taking a step back um just to do these calipers i'm gonna go gold i'm not gonna be doing it with uh, a spray gun today uh because the supplier is not open on a saturday so i'm just gonna use tins it's only great calipers anyhow so i'm gonna go gonna go with gold like the original were at the back um, I like the gold, I think just, it'll just break it up a bit from the black and green, a little bit of silver. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going gonna, gonna to go ahead and uh, take these seals out. Just a little hook, that's it. It's actually dust seal. Sorry if I'm not trying to keep it on. Just give a little hook. Yeah. It's a bit hard this with one, one hand. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, just a little hook there. Drag them out. And then all your alloy. All nice and corroded. I wouldn't say nice, but that's what causes these pistons to stick. There's a corrosion. Yeah, so to give them a good clean, it's just give them a good scraping. Get some brake cleaner in there. A good wipe, like so. You don't always have to get, as long as the piston's not badly scored or corroded, you can reuse these. 
you don't always have to buy the rebuild kit because they do it it can be costly even the seals it, it can all it can add up um but yeah Let's give it a good clean i'm gonna give it a good clean now and mask off the bits i don't want to spray take the front off as well and strip them down and uh, spray them so i've um, got this one ready cleaned all the parts and the rubbers and the piston masked it off ready for spraying uh, i've took my front calipers off Um, I, I've decided to take these pistons out because I've, I've done two trap days since I last rebuilt these and this is why they're so bad look at that for corrosion it's not even six months ago when I rebuilt these they look awful the rust and I when I got back on the last trap day I was careful with my uh WD-40 with the with the straw and just screw it a little bit just in here just behind the pad to prevent this this um corrosion and look at that this is why they've got a bad name for themselves these um Tokyo calipers and like I said I, you know I, I feel a little bit sort of defeated really by spraying them with but I've got these waste pads, they're about eighty pound retail, uh, and they're still working. I mean, I mean, I pulled them out really easy. Even this khaki thing that I've got, I can't find me other puller. Um, I think I got them in my other lock up. I just just couldn't find them, so I just just they just pulled out. And I don't normally pull out of these damn things. But they just slid out. I mean, there's no corrosion on the inside yet but you know it's not as if i've been on the road with, with the with the dust and crap that you get on the road and salt or whatever that's two trap days that that's what a couple hundred mile and look at it i mean i didn't really clean them i didn't go to town with them because last time when i cleaned them i was a little bit disheartened and once i looked into it apparently the reason why these um, are just notorious for corroding is because there's no galvan, um, sorry, uh, anodise. Like, the likes of like something like this, the balls are anodised or some kind of protection so they don't, they don't corrode as, as quickly or at all. They can get sticky caliper, you know, sticky pistons and need cleaning. As all all pistons do, even Brembo, because you can't stop the dust. Uh, but with these, they're just you, you literally they are. You you need to maintain them after eight season, I reckon. Now, see, so yeah, I reckon I'm going to be pulling these apart in six months if we get out there, like this, if it's locked down. But yeah, I, I've got a feeling I'm going to be pulling these apart. So I think once these pads are worn out. I don't think I'll be, uh, once I've gone through a set of pads, I think I'll be upgrading these brakes. Because I tell you what, you got enough on your hands trying to maintain a trap bike without having to keep stripping these damn things down every six months or whatever. So, yeah, I was a bit in denial at first. I thought, you know, that's why I didn't really, I didn't I didn't put much effort in some really when I, when I was cleaning them up the first time. I mean, I'd done a good job. And they have, you know, they're all all right, but just, yeah, I don't think I'll be, uh, if it wasn't for these pads that I've got, I would be chucking them, I tell you. Definitely, they're just awful. I, think, I mean, they perform fine. You know, they, I, I didn't feel, you know, as long as you bleed them all right, that's another thing as well, the bleeding, it can be a bit, bit of a, but I've done these now a few times now because I've had a few of these X9s. Um, but I've never, never seen them go that bad that quick. It's almost like it's mould. It's definitely corrosion.
Well, I stripped and prepped and sanded them. Took all the pistons out in the end. And the seals. Gave them another clean. Again. Missing one. Yeah, gonna apply one just with uh, using tins, not the compressor or the gun today. I don't feel like they did deserve the effort, if I'm honest. I'm a little bit sort of since I took them apart again, I'm a bit um, deflated of the whole thing now. The, these brakes now, because I feel like I'm going to be stripping them down more often than I thought. I mean, I knew they were bad, but not this bad with that corrosion that I've shown you before. Um, yeah, uh, I, I can honestly say I reckon I'll get use these pods that I've got for it, these race pods. As soon as they're gone, I won't be getting another set. I'll be just getting the, the Triumph four pot calipers that they can fit on these. Um, these are X9s. Uh, these things. I've even got another set down down under the uh, workbench <coughs> that I was going to uh, fix up and keep a spare, but you can see me putting them in a the bin if I'm honest. Even on the road bike, I've got them on that and all. Damn things. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm going to uh, spray these now. Um, yeah, I'm going to spray them in a sec. feel like I've passed my test again doing this. As I said, um, <clears throat> I normally like using the gun and proper paint, but it just kind of is, and the fact, is, the fact that it's just a trap bike, I'm not really I'm just brighten them up a bit, make them look a bit more cleaner with what I've done to the bike. I'm waiting for the uh, primer to dry on the rad. Which I'm almost dry. The nuts, clamp nuts, they, they hold the calipers together. I just like to bit of all toe sole. Drill. Mind you don't tighten it too much and knock of the threads. And just... <laughs> up a bit. Makes them come up like now. Bit of a difference to. I'm only doing it with one hand, so it's not as easy, but. It just brightens them up a bit more, doesn't it? Right, that's the primer done, about four coats. Looking a lot better now. Put the gold on now. It comes out with
I'll flip them around to the other coat, the other side, sorry, and the back one as well. Well, I finished painting. I cleaned the paint off this here because I've got the bike in here. Um, it goes on there, see, so you want that that to be flush with your um, fork when it bolts on. Uh, you don't want no paint in the way because it, it will offset the caliper. You, you wouldn't believe how much that little paint would do because once I had my uh, alloys powder coated and the guy left the paint on the bit where the uh, the, the, the alloy you know, met the, uh, the hub and Going down the motorway, and I could feel the shake. Uh, so I had to take them back, and he uh, he sanded them back down to the to the alloy. And ever since then, I've learned always keep these um, without damaging the alloy. Still see the machine there where it was machined. Just clean them off. What I did is is, is bravely as when, as it was drying. Just picked it off with my nail because it was tough to to mask that off. I could manage to do that in there, but this really I couldn't do it. So yeah, so um, I already I've already stripped these down last year, and then on, as the uh, as you saw on the, just earlier on in this video, that I wasn't that impressed, so I stripped them down again. Took the pistons out. I'm gonna clean them yet. Um, now I'm just going to put over one of these uh, seals in, they go in one way, you can feel, it's like a little ridge, which helps put the, uh, the piston back in its seat when you press the pad, when you release it pulls the piston back into the caliper, and you want that ridge to be at the back, and you can just feel it, if you just stroke it like this you can feel the ridge, I've always found it just Give them a little soak in the brake fluid and they go in a lot easier, even with one hand. See that just pops straight in and then you can feel, if, if you, if you, when you're doing this you can feel the ridge so it goes, slides in but then when you come back it, it stops your finger coming out. That's it. And then I put the uh, the rubber seal again. Just a little soak. Yeah, I'm doing this with one hand, so it's it's really easy to do. That's it. And that's in there now. I know there's a lot, lot of love and hate with these calipers. I've, I've put uh, put a little bit of effort into them, but you know what? They they work well if you maintain them. A bit like this, you know, if you keep them clean, um, it's for track bikes. It's you know, I, I, I've got wet, so I do go out in the wet. I don't mind so much. Uh, but hopefully, you know, this year if we get out, it's going to be a lot of dry days, so they'll last a bit longer. Um, but they're not that bad. It's all part of the, the, you know, the maintaining them and stuff, so I don't know. I'll see how I go this time round. Um, I cleaned them up a bit more than last time. So uh, hopefully they'll last a little bit longer. Yeah, I don't, you know, at the end of the day, I don't think a little bit of corrosion would harm them. It's just it's when it starts getting in here. But because it's already started, it's hard to, to keep that at bay. So, it's a shame really. Yeah, so I'm gonna bob all, them, all the seals in, then put all the pistons in. Um, I can't really, I'll, I'll, on the next video, I'll, I'll put all, the, all these in and then I'll do another one of the, uh, once I've cleaned these up a bit. A little bit of a mark there, I've got some spare ones, so I might even replace some of these. Um, Clean. 
go clean and then uh, yeah we'll see you in a bit okay so I've got all the oil pistons in just left the last couple just to this is what I do just um, put your brake fluid in your cap as I showed in the, uh, the seals and then slide away in. Then when you assemble them back together, you get your seals. Put them on there. And then put them together. It. Well, I've got them reassembled, got my waste pads on, ready to go. Uh, I'm going to put new bleed nipples on because these look a bit old and they're just going to ruin that look, aren't they? I just gotta put on new ones on for the what they are. I wish they had them. I didn't think I was gonna go this far with them to be honest, but yeah, there they are on the bike. Not too much, but just breaks it up a little bit. That's why I went for the gold. Um, yeah. I just fitted these. Uh, because we've got off these now for chop days. I'm going to make some end plates for there. For the old mirror brackets. Put a put new radiator on. New coolant. Fresh oil again. I've polished up some of these uh, bolts. Just to clean them up a bit. to go out these bloody lockdowns <coughs> yes yeah, so I'm almost there I think I'm gonna do a separate video of me bleeding these because then they're really they're not fun to bleed they're awful so yeah I was gonna add it to this video but I might do a separate one keep the video shorter Thanks for watching.